Okay. Hi, everyone. This is Martha. I'm a relationship counselor and clinical sexologist. And I found SG Super Nanny Zoe Chu on Instagram. And this is part three of four videos. So be sure to tune in to the other videos. So in this video, I want to very specifically ask Zoe about sleep for adults. How is uh, coaching uh, families with young kids uh, different from coaching adults? Is it more difficult? Oh, yes, definitely more <laughs> difficult. <laughs> so, um, to be honest with you, um, I actually dabble into adult sleep because I realized that every time I tell people what I do as a baby and adult, uh, as a baby and child sleep expert, they always ask, oh, do you do adults as well? And then all this while I couldn't say yes. And then finally, uh, about a year or so ago, I finally learned something from this uh mentor of mine she's based in uh, Luxembourg and she calls herself sleep like a boss so I learned her methods as well it's a very holistic approach uh, to helping adults who are suffering from insomnia because I think a lot of time when adults are suffering from uh, sleepless nights they always thought oh maybe I should go see the doctor and then get their uh, sleeping pills prescription and all this right but uh, as we all know sleeping pills they have a lot of bad side effects so and it's not a good long-term solution you really want to address the, the root of the problem rather than just the symptoms. So yeah. yes, adult sleep is definitely much, much more complicated. Because and, and also sleep apnea. Yes, sleep apnea is also a medical condition. Uh, it means that you have trouble breathing, you know, your airway is blocked. So that is something that you definitely need to seek medical help because there is the testing to see whether you really do have uh, sleep apnea or not. Yeah, but what I... Uh, yeah, like you said, sleep adult adult sleep is more complicated because um, you know it has to do with the body, it has to do with the mind. So we have to really find out exactly what is going on with your with your lifestyle as well. You know your diet and and yeah your hormones and gut health and yeah so many things that we have to uh, look into to find out exactly what is causing you to have a bad night's sleep. Yeah, so. That, that's why I say adult sleep is a lot more complicated. I see. So any advice just for uh, people who are looking into this? Uh, any maybe a few practical tips that you have for, for mm -hmm. us? Like anybody should know this. <laughs> okay. I love to give this million dollar tip away. Uh, why I call it a million dollar tip is because you're gonna save a lot of money uh, in terms of skincare, in terms of uh, like Botox and fillers or whatever. <laughs> because I guess as you age, you realize that, oh, okay, I better do all these things. But honestly, if you can make sure that you sleep uh, during this money time, okay, money time is between 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. As in, make sure that you are already in deep sleep. Okay, so as you all know, we all go through sleep cycles when we sleep, okay? So we will have um, deep sleep, we will have light sleep, and then REM sleep, right? So when you make sure that you're already in bed, uh, hopefully by 10, okay? This is the time, the money time, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. is when your body release all this HGH. It's called human growth hormones. And why do we need human growth hormones? And plenty of it is because human growth hormones will help you repair and restore your cells so that you keeps you making looking younger and younger each day. So beauty sleep is real, okay, Mata? We need to make sure that we sleep well so that we can keep looking younger and younger. And I want to share with you this. Uh, do you know Vera Wang? She is actually a very famous bridal designer. And she, if you look at her picture on the internet, she shared it last year. It broke the internet because she looked like a 20-something or 30-something-year-old uh, woman. But in fact, she is 71 years old. Yeah. So, and you know her secret? She, she shared with everyone. She said the secret is sleep, <laughs> work, and not much sun. That's what she said. Yeah, so I guess she's trying to say you have to keep active, you have to um, yeah, make sure not much sun exposure because we all have to actually wear sunscreen when we go out, right? And even at home, you're actually supposed to wear sunscreen as well. And also making sure that you have plenty of good quality sleep because you need that HGH in order to make yourself more youthful. Yeah, that's, yeah. So that's the key. So I have a question because um, uh, sometimes I sleep at 1.30 
So you're one. missing out on the money time. <laughs> so so does it mean that uh uh let's say you get more money uh money time you get more money uh if you sleep at ten uh yeah. you you will clock more as opposed to like one even though it's still in that window you will just have less money or it doesn't matter as long as it's just in that. No, what you just said. If you if you clock in at one a.m. You only have one hour of the money time. But if you hmm. clock in at 10, you know, you have four hours of that money. More time. money, more money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. Okay. So I actually have a very serious uh, sleep issue. People think that, uh, okay, I don't know what people think about me. Uh, the, 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 uh, I actually have chronic hives. Hmm. So every night when I'm in my deep sleep, uh, especially 2 a.m., my whole body will break out in highs. So mm. it will disrupt my sleep. And sometimes I also have difficulty sleeping because uh, because of the hives. Mm. So I, I give up. I give up fighting my hives, which I did years ago. I had two rounds of uh, hives that happened every night for 10 months. Mm. Two rounds, two rounds. The first round, I took antihistamine and it didn't go away. Mm. And I took stronger ones and... Uh, it got really, it got really bad. Like it affected me mentally, and then I developed depression for a year. Oh. The second round, I took antihistamine, and uh, no, the second round I didn't take it, and I really suffered like nothing. Uh, and it still happened every night at uh for ten months. So mm-hmm. now, years later, uh, I, I, the moment I knew the hives is coming up, mm-hmm. then I'll take the antihistamine. But it really disrupts my sleep. Yes. So I, I feel what you said, which is uh, it's good it's good that you know this, which is like it is linked to gut health. Mm. Correct. I I'm I'm not like expert in gut health, but yes, uh, gut health, uh, food sensitivity, hormones, and your thyroids, all this are, are linked to your sleep. And so if you can actually tackle that the the root of the problem, your hives, and I think that will improve your sleep quality quality tremendously yeah yes so i've been still battling this new round of hives Mm. for the last two years Mm. so it really affects my energy because it's disrupted Uh, but i'm gonna take your advice and really work towards uh sleeping earlier at 10 a.m at 10 p.m no i would say if you find that uh, that drastic change is hard to keep up to right you should uh try to uh, set yourself small goals like instead of 1 a.m you say okay i'll sleep at 12 30 you know just slowly bring your way earlier and earlier because if you say i'm gonna sleep at 10 p.m that's a huge change to your lifestyle and you might not be able to keep up with it so yes. the goal is to be consistent right so yes. uh, if you can just say okay i'm gonna sleep half an hour earlier for the next three months and, and then, then slowly your body will adjust it. It. yes so one strategy I found was very good in making myself sleep at 10 was to uh, break the cycle of uh, uh, sleeping late. Forget about the sleeping late. I just forced myself to wake up early. <laughs> so by the time I wake up, uh, by the evening, I'll be very tired because I, I, I had woken up early. So then it will force me to sleep earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it worked it worked for me for a time. Yeah. So okay, thank you for this video. So everybody please check out uh, Zoe's uh website. That's sg uh supernanny.com and also uh the other one. The uh, other one is yoursleepbff.com. Yes, yoursleepbff.com. That's your best friends forever. You will remember Zoe because your life would change forever. <laughs> thank, thank you. you.